Hey everyone, this is MOSFET, your simple tech news update. Researchers at Flinders University have discovered a new way to make lenses for thermal imaging systems. Thermography lenses are designed to let infrared waves pass through them and currently require expensive materials and manufacturing processes to create. The method developed by the team uses a novel chemistry which allows for lens manufacturing at pennies each. These new lenses can be manufactured using existing plastics making techniques, so it's possible that low-cost, high-quality thermal imaging may end up in smartphones and other electronics in the not-too-distant future. In manufacturing news, Solidscape has released the Muse, a wax 3D printer designed for jewellery and dental applications. This is the smallest printer so far from the company, as they aim to bring 3D printing for casting to a wider audience. Priced at under $15,000, this specialist printer has a 25 micron layer thickness, 76 by 76 by 47 mm build volume, and can make high quality small parts. Last month, famous sauce maker Kraft Heinz launched the Heinz Remix, a sauce dispenser that lets customers create custom concoctions. It can mix up to 200 potential sauce combinations, and the company aims to pilot it with restaurant operators this year. This is part of a wider trend I've noticed of companies experimenting with customization and on-demand manufacturing via 3D printing and other methods. Moving over to drones, and here are two automation systems recently developed. Wing uploaded a new video of their curbside pickup autoloader, explaining how this simple, unpowered system enables for quick, repeatable drone pickups for deliveries. Some clever mechanical design work has gone into this. A team from the Agile Robotics and Perception Lab at NYU also uploaded a video showing their autonomous drone charging system they have developed. Dubbed the AutoCharge, this system marries a drone modified with a kind of giant MagSafe adapter with a portable charging station. The theory is simple in that the drone recognises the station, and while it approaches a strong electromagnet is turned on and connects them together for charging. This method is very consistent, and the team demonstrated it being used for a 10-hour perpetual flight. In other flying machine news I recently came across another single-seater passenger drone. The MC1 by Monaco-based MC Click is an octocopter, and similar to the Hexa drone I showed a few weeks back, this requires little training to fly. At $150,000 and with only 15 minutes flight time it's still firmly in the very expensive toy category. The Cyclorotor by Cyclotech is another interesting player in the space, and they're aiming to create a very quiet vehicle using their unique 360 degree thrust vectoring design. The company recently completed an outdoor noise test for one of the rotors, and they say at a distance of 100 meters, the sound generated is about 59 decibels, which is equivalent to the typical level of a conversation between two people. Sticking with the transport theme, and a ferry in Stockholm is apparently the first of its kind to autonomously shuttle passengers between islands in the city, up to 120 times per day. Like many of the autonomous bus pilots going on around the world, this one still requires a captain just in case, but the eventual goal is to be fully self-operated. Switching over to artificial intelligence now, and Agility Robotics has been experimenting with combining chat GPT with their Digit robot. In the demonstration, Digit was told, clean up this mess, and the only information it knew was that there were different bins and items on the floor. Through the LLM, it figured out on its own what a mess is, and how to move in physical reality to achieve this goal. If that's all legit, that is quite the achievement. In similar news, Boston Dynamics added some new autonomous inspection features to their spot quadruped. This update apparently makes it much easier for industrial workers to set up routine automated inspections of workplaces using the bot's thermal camera, acoustic imager and scout software. The idea is that the robots can automatically check on critical components to see whether they're in good shape or likely to fail anytime soon. And ending this update with a cool open source project, the Dingo is a do-it-yourself quadruped intended for research applications. Designed by engineering students Alexander Calvert and Nathan Ferguson, this project was part of their degree work, and they decided to release all the files for those who might want to make or iterate on the design. The full bill of materials comes to around $1,300. Links are in the description. Alright, that's it for this week. Subscribe for more cutting-edge news. See you next time.